So what if I told you that color science doesn't matter? I know it's a bit controversial of a statement, but honestly, I believe by the end of this video, I'll have you either agreeing with me or starting to ask yourself, does color science really matter? What's good creative fam, Brandon Washington here, and I'm sure you've all been in this situation or either you're going to end up in this situation at some point as a video creator. You're gonna be on set and there's gonna be multiple cameras on set, but they're gonna be different cameras. Whether you have a nice, big, amazing A cam like a RED or a high-end Canon or Sony cinema camera like the C70, and then you're gonna maybe have a B cam. That's maybe not quite as nice. It's still a good camera, something like maybe the EOS R, R5 even, but it's just not the same as the A cam. Well, in these situations, you are going to inevitably have to match these two cameras. And as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to color grading, this is my least favorite part because there's nothing creative in it. You're literally just trying to make one camera look like the other. And the problem with that is you're having to adjust little bitty bits of data just to get them to the point to where they're even. So then you can go in on top of that and start making all of your creative decisions. That's where today's sponsor, Cinematch by Film Convert, really comes in handy. Now when Film Convert reached out to me about testing out their brand new Cinematch software, I was honestly a bit hesitant at first. The main reason being that I didn't really want to believe that a piece of software with a click of a button could easily solve a problem that I had been dealing with for months. But at the same time, I was also really excited to know that there was a piece of software that could solve the problem that I had been dealing with for months. As you guys know, here on the channel and in my production business, I shoot with a lot of different cameras, whether that's Panasonic, Canon, Sony, RED, you name it, I probably shoot with it. And that's because I like to pick the best tool for the job. The problem is I don't always have multiples of all these different cameras. So when it comes to using a dual camera system on set, I'm always having to do a match process in post. So after perusing around their website and getting a good scope of how the software worked, I decided to go ahead and have them send it out in order for me to test it out. Now, one big element of this software is that currently this software is only compatible in Premiere and in DaVinci. Now, as a lot of you guys know, I bounce back and forth quite a bit between DaVinci and Final Cut Pro 10, and they have said that a version is coming for Final Cut 10 in the future, but as of right now, I decided to go ahead and download it for DaVinci and test it out. Now for my test, I decided to test out three different cameras. I tested out the Panasonic S5, the EOS R, and the brand new Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. Now, technically their software doesn't necessarily say that it covers the 6K Pro yet, but I do know that the 6K Pro and the 6K do use the same sensor, so I just used it for the case of this video. The other thing that I want to mention is that this software is designed to match the information coming from the sensors. So in order to make sure that this test was gonna work properly, I used the exact same lens on all three cameras and I made sure that all my settings were exactly the same as well, using the exact same white balance, using the exact same tints and making sure that all my images were properly exposed. So that is one thing you are gonna wanna make sure you're doing when you're trying to match these different cameras. In a previous test, I did realize that if your white balance is off, they're not gonna match perfectly. However, there are some things in the software which we're about to look at that will show you how you can make some of those minor adjustments in order to get everything matching flawlessly. But let's hop into the software. Now for the sake of this tutorial here on the computer, I've actually gone ahead and imported our three different clips. Now quickly, just to show you what these three clips are. Our first clip is gonna be from the Canon EOS R. The second clip is from our Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. And then the third camera here is actually from the Panasonic S5, the one that starts here with the P. Now these are all also not the same codecs. For example, you can see here coming in from the EOS R, I have an a uh, dot 264 h264 file and then coming out of the black magic pocket cinema camera i have 422hq and then i also have another h264 coming out of the panasonic and what i like by looking here in the color tab is you can see this as i click through these different clips 
how different the log actually looks. Now you'll notice that obviously on the Pocket 6K here, for example, it's gonna be a little bit more cropped in and that's just because it's a super 35 millimeter sensor compared to the full frame sensors that I had on the EOS R and the Panasonic S5. But you'll notice that not only is this one more cropped in, but when you compare it to like this one here, which is the R, look at how drastically different those logs are. And this is where this software really comes in handy. So if I come over here to my R shot, you'll notice that in my FX or my, my, my effects panel here, uh, if I open that up, I can have Cinematch here. Now, this is already up just because I had this here, but if I clear it out, it'll just look like this for everyone else. And then you can come up here and you can just type in Cine, which is what I do. Cinematch pops right up. And then you can literally drag and drop that. Now it's recommended that you put this on your first node because you wanna go ahead and match the, the actual clips before you start doing your creative edits on them. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start the process. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose your source. So I'm gonna click on source. And because I shot this on the Canon EOS R, that's exactly what I'm gonna click. So if I click on EOS R, you'll see that it only gives me options that actually could work with the EOS R. So in this case, I'll choose C-Log because that's what this was shot in. And then I'll go ahead and click apply. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose what type of log we want this to be matched to. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and select here and I want everything to match my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to click on Blackmagic Design. As far as the camera, I'm going to the Pocket 6K. And then I'm gonna go Gen 5 and click Apply. And look how drastic of a difference that is. Look, as I turn it off, and then I turn it back on, you can see how much of a difference it made on that log footage. But more importantly, if we actually look at the Pocket 6K footage here, as I click back and forth between the two, you can see how it has already matched this log footage, which to me is a huge time saver. But I'm not just done there, I'm actually gonna do the exact same thing over here on my Lumix, and I'm gonna do exactly what I just did. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna select this camera, so I'm gonna say that this was shot on the Panasonic S5 in Vlog. Apply that, and then I want this to also match the Blackmagic design here. Pocket 6K, Gen 5, apply, and boom. That has been adjusted as well. Now, on the pocket here, technically, would I need to add Cine Match? No, because they're already matching this one. But for the sake of letting a couple other things match and just how amazing the Cine Match plugin is, I'm gonna go ahead and add the Cine Match on here anyway, which is actually what they actually recommend at Film Convert. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna say that this was shot on a pocket. 6K, Gen 5, say apply. And then I'm gonna come over here and do the exact same thing. Pocket 6K Gen 5, apply. Okay, so now everything is matching up perfectly. So now, just to kind of take things a little bit further, you can not only make these things match here, but I can also go ahead and apply Rec. 709 conversions to all of these shots, which to me is absolutely amazing because now just that quickly with a couple clicks, I have already got all three of these shots matched. So if I go back over into my editor, you can easily see that as I sort through these different clips, they are pretty much done. So if I click over here, you can see this is shot on the EOS R, this looks great. If I click over here, this one was shot on the Blackmagic 6K Pro. And if I click right here, this one was shot on the Lumix S5 and all of them are already matching, which to me is just amazing. And I love the fact that it is already done. Not a whole lot of extra hard work for me to do, which ultimately saves me time. You know, whether you are a professional or an aspiring professional filmmaker, if you find yourself in a situation where you are using multiple cameras and you are trying to make them match in post, personally, I think that it is 100% worth it to use a piece of software like this. Now, a couple quick little caveats. If you go to their website, they have an entire link that shows you all the cameras that are currently supported. They've let me know that more cameras will be coming soon, like my beloved Red Komodo, but as of right now, those cameras are not there, so 
So if you're planning on picking up this software, just double check and make sure that your cameras are there. The other thing that I wanted to mention when it comes to this software is that this thing is a serious time saver. I don't know if how you guys handle your production business and how you kind of charge for editing, but I personally don't charge by the hour. I charge by the overall project with a certain number of adjustments. And the reason why I do it that way is because if there's a way for me to save time, I personally think that I should benefit from that, not my client. They shouldn't pay less because I'm more efficient at my job. So here is the reason why I love this software. This software can literally save you hours of color matching in post. And those hours basically turn into profit. So if you take a normal project that maybe would have taken you six hours to edit, dedicating an hour to two hours on just color matching, and you quickly, quickly click a button and be able to save those hours and have the system automatically color match for you. This software and this plugin literally pays for itself. So if you are a professional editor or an aspiring professional editor, and you're looking to save time in post by matching cameras together quickly, as far as I'm concerned, this is a no brainer software. Now this is technically not a review because it is a sponsored video, but I personally do believe in this software. I do think that it is an amazing plugin. And if you are currently working in Premiere and in DaVinci, you should be picking it up. And personally, I can't wait for this software to enter into Final Cut as well, because as that being my kind of number one editor right now, which might change, I'm starting to lean a little bit more towards DaVinci here recently. I personally think that this is something that every filmmaker could use and could benefit from. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you have any questions about this software, there are links down below in the description in order to actually go and check it out for yourself. See all the additional add-ons because I mean, there's a lot that this software can do and I only really scratched the surface of it. But thank you guys again for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.